Ripple has always made this so simple and easy for us to understand. They're going to make XRP a world reserve digital currency, and they're going to use XRP to solve trillion dollar problems. It's so simple. And so I'm going to play this clip here from Brad Garlinghouse, and you can listen to Brad describing whether or not XRP will be better than Bitcoin and using XRP to solve trillion dollar problems. And you know, that's what I love, right? The trillion dollar problems is what turns me on when I'm looking at what to invest in in the digital asset space. Not financial advice. Let's listen in here on what Brad Garlinghouse has to say. Now, this is a clip that is a few years old, but I think that it is still relevant to today's conversation. Let's take a listen in. 17. It was up, I think, something like 25,000%. The excitement around digital assets is because I think you're solving a real problem. And I think one of the things you saw happen, particularly last December, is there's understandably concern about regulation and what does that mean for digital assets. From the get-go, Ripple has worked with regulators, and we have worked with regulated institutions like banks, where there isn't regulatory uncertainty. And so we have found that part of the reason why XRP has performed well is because people realize, hey, wait a minute, you know, back to your question, is, is XRP the next Bitcoin? If we work with the system to solve this problem and we can solve that problem at scale, a problem measured in the trillions of dollars, then there's a lot of opportunity to create value in XRP. But how can they- Ding, ding, ding. Trillion dollar problems. That's what turns us on the most. That's what we love to hear. And the Brad and Ripple team have been saying this for years, right? I think this clip is from 2018, 2019, but it's still as, as, as relevant as, as it was then as it is now, right? And folks are so confused. Oh my gosh, we got this smart contracts platform, XRP versus XRP plus. Uh, I've been trying to break this down for everyone to understand. Ripple's intent with the XRP ledger is to enable banks, financial institutions around the world to tap into it for wholesale payment settlement. And then if they want to add XRP to their balance sheet to use for treasury flows for other utilities, they can do so as well. This is a big problem that needs to be solved and Ripple has been working with the banks, the financial institutions on the back end. They're not worried about creating the perfect app for the retail client to use to send money. They're not worried about that, right? They're not worried about dealing or touching or being in contact with the retail end user. It's about enabling these systems on the back end. You flip the switch and then the flows of liquidity just continue to build up from there. You know, how high is XRP to go? I'm not here to say that. But what I love to hear from Team Ripple is that the mission has been simple, consistent, and it's a really big freaking problem, right? Creating XRP to be a world reserve digital currency and then going out to solve trillion dollar problems. Trillion dollars on a daily basis. Remember, when we look at these overall values, you're talking about quadrillions of dollars per year that are moving and markets like derivatives that have quadrillions of dollars parked in them. And so, as I've always said, gold has been a store of value, a reserve currency for thousands of years. Got to respect it, right? But what you have with XRP is the way to move value, right? Not only can you store value in XRP as a reserve, but it's also one of the best ways to move value. And when you get tapped in with Ripple's liquidity, uh, it's going to be the best liquidity in the world. It's very simple, right? And they are going to the networks like Swift, enabling them on the back end to onboard their 11,000 banks and institutions. All that Ripple has to do is approach Swift, right? Instead of having to go to 10,000 different banks and trying to work with them and play with them, you just go to Swift directly and you say, hey, you know, we're not here to take you out. We want to help you. We want to complement what you've already built out. We respect your position and we, we have something here that is inevitable. It is the best tech. It is going to be the best liquidity. So we're going to give you an early bird access, right? If you want to add some XRP to your balance sheet, like R3 tried to, 5 billion XRP to R3, this is the type of deals that Ripple's been doing for years. And now here we are in 2023, and people still forget the XRP, the simple goal, was to make it a world reserve digital currency and to build up liquidity to be able to solve trillion dollar problems. It's so simple. Just listen to Brad, listen to Ripple and team. They've laid it out for us for years. And on the way out, if you appreciate this content, smash that thumbs up for me. Make sure we subscribe, hit that notification bell, and just head on over to my website, zachrector.com, if you're looking to get tapped in. I appreciate all of you guys. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.